Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Charlie's Edition, the Joy of Gay Sex series. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the redo of the series that I had originally did on my other YouTube channel. But I decided to redo it right here, just specifically for this page, because I want to see exactly how well the Joy of Gay Se Sex series can do. I mean, I saw on my other page that certain videos did do well, and I saw that certain videos did not do well. Well, right here I can see exactly how well it can do with a redoing of um, certain tag words or certain titles and just to see exactly how many people are really into learning about sex. It's not a nasty show or anything like that. So, as I told you guys, this will be a channel for the joy of gay sex, the joy of sex for straight folk, and the joy of lesbian sex. Now, after the joy of gay sex series is complete, I will begin the other series. Now, this is the book that I'm going to be getting information out of, The Joy of Gay Sex. And as you can see, it says, The Best-Selling Guide for Gay Men. So, pretty much everything about gay sex is right here in this book. And I'm going to go over pretty much every single topic in this book. Now, I'm not saying I'm a sex expert or anything like that, because I'm definitely not. But I definitely learn as I go throughout this book, and I'm sure you guys will too. So if you have any questions or comments about anything, want to know anything, please leave a comment underneath this video, and I will definitely get to you as soon as possible. Now, I will probably be going over certain topics every Wednesday and Thursday, and I figured that since today is Thursday, I'd go ahead and start on topic before I have to get to work here. So, shall we begin? So the very first topic that I'm going to read to you guys about is the anus, okay, your butthole, okay, and as you know, bottom, okay, is, um, their anus is very sensitive to them, their butthole is very sensitive to them, um, and for guys who are tops that don't take it up the butt, probably would not know much about how sensitive the anus hole really is. Okay, so I'm just going to read a little bit of information about the anus, the butthole, the asshole, whatever you want to know. Okay, and I'm definitely not shy about talking about this, so yeah, it's human nature, please. So, here we go. Culturally induced fears have given many people phobias about their assholes. This bias against the anus is unreasonable. True. It is used for elimination, but so is the penis. Yet the objection has not made the latter organ any less attractive. The anus is not only an avenue for elimination, but also a sexual organ. It is highly sensitive, as it is lined with particularly responsive nerve endings. Moreover, the anus is close to the prostate gland, and its stimulation is highly pleasurable. Meaning, basically, like a girl's G-spot is in her, you know, cooch or whatever. A guy's prostate gland is technically his G-spot in his butthole. All trace of shit can be banished if one takes an enema before intercourse. Every drugstore sells disposable enemas or convenient bulb-shaped plastic ones. Most men who use them regularly keep them in their shower. Daily use of enemas, however, should be avoided, as it could create psychological dependence or physical damage to the small intestine. People who are just beginning to experiment with anal sex sometimes fear that sticking a large cock up the anus will tear the skin. Proper lubrication and relaxation, however, will prevent pain or damage. So, a.k.a. lots of lube. You cannot stick it in like it is a wet pussy. You have to use lots of lube when you are shoving a big dick or any object up your anus. AKA KY jelly. You don't just put a little bit on there. You don't use spit. You don't use God knows who else. You use lots of lubricant so that you can ease a big cock or a small cock or whatever slowly up your anus hole. More experienced men often worry that by repeatedly getting screwed, they will lose muscle tone in their asshole. 
There is no research on this problem, but it seems that many of these worries are probably unfounded and may cover up feelings of guilt. One occasionally finds gay men who disparage achieving sexual pleasure through their anuses. This might be a result of low self-esteem caused by the um, archaic notion that only women get screwed. This is both an insult to their own bodies and historically wrong, since men have found pleasure in their assholes since the time of the cavemen, as we've learned from photographs. <coughs> so, those of you who think that getting screwed too much, you may get loose, I mean, it's possible. It's possible that you might get loose, especially if you have um, anal sex with very big dicks all the time. It is possible that you may get loose, but... Um, at the same time, there's no research saying that you will. I mean, I guess it can tighten back up with certain exercises or something like that. I mean, it's possible. So, basically, you guys, talking about this over again as a little summary, your anus is very sensitive, not like a wet pussy. I'm sure even pussies need lubricant as well. Um... You can't just stick large objects, large dicks up your butthole without lubricant and expect it to feel good. It's just not possible. Also, foreplay. Foreplay is a good thing. You know, using your fingers to loosen up the butthole. You can't just stick your finger in and expect it to feel good. You need to put some lube on that shit. So. This was the very first topic, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm going to break each video down into different sections. So, if you're just, you know, interested about one topic, you got something to, you can skip that topic or go to the next or whatever. So, just wanted to give you a little bit of information on the anus hole, the butthole, the asshole, whatever you want to call it. Alright, guys, be sure to leave your comments, questions, whatever you need, right underneath this video. And, um... Stay tuned for the next topic, which we are going to be talking about barebacking, which is a huge problem and a big thing in the gay community. So, stay tuned, you guys, and holla back.